Hey guys, this is Slap Out Lash Girl Melissa and welcome back to my channel. I'm excited you're here. I always get excited when you pop back in. Yes, I do. <laughs> but today we're going to go do this look. Uh, this is a completed look. I want to show you how to do it. It is a simple summer look. It is powder, foundation. It is some bl uh, bronzer and powder and a little bit of uh, pressed eyeshadow on, mascara, and some lips. I mean, very, very simple, very, very easy. It actually will take you a lot less time than it was for me to put this on because I'm walking you through it, right? So if you wanna see how I got this look, just keep watching. Okay, let's get started. The first thing you need to do to your face is prime it. I use Gloria's Face Primer. This is fabulous. It goes on my whole entire face. I do let this sit for about five to 10 minutes sometimes, depending on what I have to do. But um, I use this every single time. That way it, it makes my makeup adhere to my face better. It stays better. It just, you know, it's like priming your walls. You gotta prime your face too, okay? So I use that. And then the next thing we're gonna do, we are going to conceal just a little bit. I have two concealers here. I have uh, two different colors, but they are Unique's Touch Skin Perfecting Concealers. And this is Velour and this is Taffeta. Now, however, I'm gonna use Taffeta first because I think when you do your brown spots, like I have, look at the brown spots here. Yeah. There's a lot of them. I like to take this product and take it and put it right. You don't need a whole lot. See, that's a little bitty tiny dot. And you're going to place it right on that spot that you don't like. And if there's any others, I don't want to be totally, totally, you know, without spots. Now, I'm fine with some, but that one kind of bothers me a little bit. And I would love to see it go bye-bye. So, this is the way I make it go bye-bye. And I just do it right in these areas. This is where I was kissed by the sun, I'm sure, when I wore like a sun visor when I was a child or teenager or young adult. And I acquired all these wonderful spots on my face from that. Now, that before, now, you know I'm going to use powder foundation. And I'm going to not use powder underneath my eyes. I never do that, ever, ever, ever. But I am going to use probably this Skin Perfecting Concealer. I could use a Duet Stick, which we don't have anymore. I absolutely love the Duet Stick. It technically is my favorite way to do my under eyes. Um, but I have a few of them left. But I don't want you to do to go through that because, look, I, I want you to be able to get the product. So if you like this, I'm going to use this uh, today. So I'm going to put a little bit on my hand right here. Boom. You don't need a whole lot because we're not going to be concealing, but just right underneath our eyes. Now, however, I do use a little bit of rose hip oil. And this is uh, Olivia Care rose hip oil. And it is wonderful. I'm going to put a little bitty dot right there on my hand right on top of my hand. Let me move this back over here so I don't spill it. And here's my brush. This is a Japanese. It is a uh, eye detailer brush. It's a 728, I believe. And I'm going to dip it down into the rose water just, not the rose water, but <laughs> rose hip oil. Where's my brain? It's gone. Okay, there you go. Little bit, little bit, little bit, little bit goes a long way. And you're going to take just a little bit of concealer it kind of thins it out, and it just makes it better for our older eyes. And I'm just going to kind of dab it in. And I do like to use a brush because that way I can put it exactly where I want it. It makes a, a big difference when you go to blend it out. Because you don't want a whole lot. You don't want a whole lot here. You just kind of want to be able to put it right in this corner. And then you can blend it out. I don't ever put powder like powder foundation, I don't even put liquid foundation, I don't put stick foundation underneath my eyes. Uh, I do like to use a little bit of this right here in the corner. This helps with, if you've got little lines here and they, they kind of, because the lines make a shadow, basically. So if you put a little bit of this here and you can kind of blend it in with your finger, I always do that, right in this corner. It really does help if you've got some discoloration there, uh, darkness from lines that come down. I, I do. I have plenty of that. <laughs> plenty of that. I don't need to share it, right? And then I'm just going to dot right through here because I'm not going to bring foundation through here, okay? And what we're going to do, I'm going to rub all this in on my hand because it, it just disappears into your hand. It makes it really easy. And then we're going to take our fingers because your fingers are your best tool and you're going to kind of press this in and push it out. I do love to do it stick. So if you find like a cream, these are uh, a cream stick highlighter, th that would work really well too. 
Uh, this one works really well. I do like to thin it out though with the rose hip oil. Rose hip oil is good for your skin anyway. And it just makes it soft enough. You don't use a lot of the rose hip oil though. But come right in. Press, 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 press. Let me get up close so you can see. It works really well. Let me move my mirror down so I can see that. Yeah, absolutely works well. And if you hear banging, my husband's putting down flooring. Isn't he a priceless thing? <laughs> okay, so we are going to set this with a little bit of It's Bye Bye Pores powder. So let me find it. Here it is. Now, you can get this in a loose powder. I have the pressed powder. You can see I use it quite a bit. It does have a little brush inside of it that you can use as well if you don't have another brush. But this one is actually an under eye brush. This is a Japanese. No, this is a Morphe. This is a Morphe M. Can't even read the numbers, but I will put all these down below. When you get older, you just can't do that kind of thing. Read. <laughs> okay. So press. Press, 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 press it in. Tap it off and then press it in. And then everything else, we're going to put powder on my face. So if you have oily skin, this would be a good look for you. Um, combination skin, if you dry skin, you would really, really, really have to exfoliate your skin quite a bit if you want to use a powder on your face. And make sure you moisturize uh, heavily. I always put on my moisturizer and all my skincare before I ever even put anything on my face. So what you want to do then is come back brush this off on your hand and kind of swipe it away make sure you get every less is more when you're talking about powder but this is the best powder i have ever found to go underneath your eyes okay so boom there we go all right so let's move on move on to the powder he makes two different kinds of pressed powder i'm going to use poplin and then i'm going to use the pressed powder this one is a little bit more um dense a little more full coverage than this one um, but I love poplin. Poplin is a beautiful color. Um, it, pretty much, it's a very lightweight looking powder. See that? And let me show you the taffeta. Taffeta is just a tad darker than the poplin. And it looks like this, and this one looks like this. So there, you can see the difference in the two colors. But I do like to mix the two. It kind of gives me more of a, like, a, like I've been kissed by the sun look, like I have a suntan when I really don't. But I do use more of the poplin than I do the taffa. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to take this. Uh, this is a uh, powder puff uh, contour brush. This is Unique's brush. I love it. Look how soft. Look at that. Wow, baby. It's good on your skin. <laughs> your skin's going to love it. All right, let's tap it in here. I do like to swirl it around and tap it off. I've got my powder here. And then I'm going to take it like one dip down into the taffeta. And we're going to tap it off. And then we're just going to kind of start blending in. Let you see how quick you can get some coverage. Beautiful coverage. Now, please make sure that you um, make sure that you put some moisturizer on your face. I use Uology, which is uh, skincare by Unique. It is wonderful. You can create your own. I'll put a little, I'll put the link to the um, skincare quiz down in the comments or in the description box. I'm so used to being on Facebook. I'm on Facebook a lot. I am. But look how fast you can get some coverage. It is looks just like my skin, but better. <laughs> but better. I love it. It goes on so well. Look, and you can't see old spot over here anymore. So let me grab some more poplin. My husband's working away in there, y'all. <laughs> That's a plus. All right. Blend this in. This is how quick and easy you can get ready. And then we're just going to use some other products to kind of finish out the eyes. But I'm really concentrating on this powder because I want you to see how fast and easy. And do, yeah, make sure you bring it down your neck because, you know, your neck sometimes tends to be lighter than the rest of your face. Your face is going to be light if you wear a lot of makeup and you don't get out in the sun quite a bit. But your chest is always going to be like a darker color. And then you're going to have this, this space between here that could be a little lighter. So let's add a little more poplin. I want to cover this side really well. What I like about this too, it the coverage is pretty darn amazing. It goes on, it covers up reddish. You remember seeing the red underneath here? And if you need a little more, then pop it just right in that one area like that. Mm -hmm. Man, it's pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. And then you still got the lightness under your eyes, which which 
to me, I loved putting on the concealer first. I think it's really hard if you put the powder on first and then come back with the concealer. You really need to be able to kind of blend um, the powder around that concealer that you have under your eyes. So, here we go. And it does help you give a nice, light, beautiful look. Now, the next step we're going to do is I'm going to head to our eyes really quickly. We have eyebrows to do. It's very quick eyebrow, eye look and a very quick eyebrow tutorial for you on this as well. Hang on one second. Let me find my... Where is it? I had... Oh, here it is. This is, um, this is my brow liner. I'm going to use the color in medium. This is Unique's brow liner. And it is a pencil type liner, but... It comes up and down. It's retractable, just like this. And then on the other side, it has a spoolie, which is absolutely perfect for doing your brows. This makes it so easy, effortlessly, to get your brows perfect. I love this. I really do. I use this. I used to use the Brow Obsession palette quite a bit. And it is more of a palette with the different colors. It's got some creams in it. But this right here is so quick and easy. Watch. You're just going to follow the natural line underneath your brow. Now, I did have my brows um, shaped and tinted. Uh, I had a lady in Montgomery, Alabama, because that's, you know, near me where I live. And she tinted them for me, so it's made it so easy for me to do my brows now. So, if you've never done that before, consider it. Consider going and getting them tinted. Now, however, you do probably have to do it about every two months. But look at the difference. A brow makes. A brows are important. They are so, so, so important. And I used to never have to worry about my brows when I was younger. You know, you know how that goes. You get older. Everything kind of dissipates and goes away. <laughs> but this is so simple and easy to do. You can do your brows in no time. But of course, having some um, somebody shape them and tint them will also help you be able to follow the lines quicker and you can fill it in better. So, And I do kind of bring it down right in this area. Now, you can check this by doing a little thing like this. See, mine is a perfect. That's about where I need it. You could put a dot there so you would know exactly how far to come out. You can do it on the other side too. And so I need to come out just a tad more with this. And then I will have the perfect space between each one. Look at that. And this does come in light, medium, and dark. Now this is a medium. Light would be more for your ginger hair girls. Um, I'm actually not a blonde, believe it or not. But <laughs> my hair is really, really dark. I just like, I just like blonde hair on me. But this is retractable. I know I said that, but it's pretty cool how it goes up and down. And you can get it just the perfect space, you know, to really be able to draw it in well. And then what you want to do is take the spoolie and just comb through it. And it will soften it if you had any clumps, which I've never had any clumps using this product at all. It's pretty basic and simple. There we go. Come right through it and boom, you've got some Gorgeous, gorgeous brows. Woohoo! Okay, now we got to get our eyes ready. This is an eye primer and it is by Unique as well. It is kind of a flesh color and it is going to be a little bit tacky. So you're not going to need that much. Just a little tube, squeeze some out. Take your fingers, put it between your ring fingers, and you're going to place it right on top of your lid. Now you can do this before you did your brows, it does not matter. Just make sure you smooth it out. And then, I, it is a little tacky. You can either wait for the tackiness to kind of settle. But basically, when I'm in a hurry, I always come back and use this brush again that I use for my under eyes and the It's By My Powder again. And I just place it right over the top of it to set it really quickly. My husband's working hard in there, y'all. We're putting down laminate flooring. We have a pit bull who is crippled. And he had just ruined our carpet. So we had to change it all out. Bless it. And we love him. So we've got to take care of that baby. All right. So let's take this and put it back. Now, now I'm perfectly ready to do whatever I'm going to do on my eyes. So today we're going to keep it really, really simple. We're going to use Beachfront Bronzer. 
And we're going to use this on our face. We're going to use it on our eyes. It's very, very simple product. I love this. It has, it's two-sided. It's a matte and a shimmer. And first of all, we're going to take a blusher brush like this. This is Unique's blusher brush. You can see I love it a lot. It's very dirty. <laughs> but I use it every single day. Now, there are three colors in this. There's a sunset. And then there's a Hermosa, which has more of a orange-reddish more color. And this is probably the darkest one. But I love Malibu. This is the color Malibu. And you can use, I use Sunset and Malibu. I really don't use the color Hermosa. It's just not the, the right color for my skin. Now, you can contour this. Pinch the brush together. Come across. Now, if I'm doing my nose like that and contouring, all I do is pinch the brush a little bit like this. Boom, and then stick it in the darker side and then just come down my nose on each side just like this kind of give you a slim nose and then I will mix both of the colors though to do a contour through here I just push it right up through my temple there boom this warms your face up beautifully yes it is a powder so we're really doing a lot of powders today now as far as my forehead I have um, if you this is a this is a rule for contouring four fingers girl you can you can contour from here all the way up okay three fingers like me i'm three fingers i'm going to do right here and right here as far as contouring and putting out a little bit of darker color on each side and then if you can only get two fingers and don't do it at all it will just make your forehead look smaller and you know you don't really want to do that anyway <laughs> you've already got it small enough if, if two fingers i'm three fingers but try that try that that try that little technique i can't remember where i learned it and you can also do the three method and then the backwards e method as well just like that those are two little tips for you so look how much it's worn my face up all right well, so we're going to use this also on our eyes so i'm going to use the darker side here i'm going to use a fluffy crease brush and we're going to dip it down into the malibu in the the matte side okay and we're going to tap it off and i do have hooded eyes so i'm just going to um use this to kind of contour i'm come right up here on, on my brow bone but let me go ahead and use this is something i want to show you uh, this is another powder that's awesome for your eyes and I use it because simply it's a it's a pressed powder foundation but it's full coverage so if you've got any spots up here that you would love to cover up that's basically what I would do um, I do it every day I take a little bit of this use the same brush that I applied my uh, foundation with this is foundation by the way <laughs> kind of cool I know I love using it and I'm going to use this side of the brush to kind of go ahead and blend this all in. Now, I don't put this on my lid, only like right in my crease and above, and then I do push it out and put it over here in this corner. Why do I put it in the corner there? I like it in the corner, uh, especially if you're going to use like eyeliner, um, which I probably am going to use a little bit of eyeliner today, maybe, um, but this is a perfect summer face for me. This would be what I would do on every Saturday, every Sunday, it's so easy. Uh, I'm talking you through it, so it takes me just a little bit longer to get it done. All right, so grab the crease brush, this fluffy crease brush. Tap it down into the dark side of this, this bronzer. And we're going to come back, and we're going to start. I'm going to start it right on my brow bone. And we're going to push this color right up above our natural crease. That way, our hoodedness, if you've got hooded eyes, if you've got deep set eyes, you can go ahead. You know how to do your eyes. Everybody's eyes are different. You could have downward turned um, hooded eyes as well. But this is such an easy, easy process. If you're going to the beach, this would be an awesomest, awesomest, is that a word? Awesomest <laughs> way to do your eyes and your face very quickly, especially when it's hot. I like to use powder because if you sweat, the powder kind of absorbs the, you know, the, the moisture. But your primer is going to help everything stay in place anyway yeah you can use a um you can use one of these I, I i use this this is behold setting spray you can use it too after you get done you can spray your face with it maybe take it with you throughout the day if you need to usually i i set it and forget it pretty much but i always use a primer i always use a primer so i'm just doing wish your wiper motions 
back and forth, kind of building the color. Now we are going to put a light color. We are going to use a eyeshadow, a pressed eyeshadow for my lid. But see how easy this is? Look at that. Perfect. I love filming. I love filming in natural light. It just looks so much better. You can see it so much better, I believe. The sun has finally appeared here in Alabama. It was very cloudy, and now it's getting very light. So if you see the difference in this and toward the end, it's because the sun's come out. All right, so this is the color Gentle. I love Gentle, and I'm going to show you two different ways to use Gentle, okay? This color is my favorite. I use it on my eyes, but I basically love to highlight with it. So we're going to highlight with it first. So I'm going to take a little brush. You can just use any. I don't even know the name of this brush. I've had it a while, but you're going to dip it down into it. And we're going to use this right through here as a highlighter. And then I'm going to come back and add a little bit of blush on top of this highlighter. This is a pressed powder eyeshadow. These are infused with primer. So they have a beautiful stain powder. Power. <laughs> Can't talk today. Sorry. But I love to kind of bounce it around my face to get a lot of light in the middle of my face. I think it just makes me look more youthful. But we're going to use it also on our lid. So I'm going to take a, let's see what brush I want to use. I'm going to use this brush. This is a shader liner brush. I got a little bit too much on my nose, didn't I? You know how you fix that? Here it is. Bing, bing, bing. Bing, 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 bing. I'm sorry. <laughs> Being silly. All right, we're going to take this and we're going to go into this color here. I love it. This is so pretty on your eyes. It really is. Just bounce it. Now, remember, remember not to swipe this across your lid unless you're in your 20s. You can do that or 30s. When you start getting into your 40s, 50s, 60s, you really need to press in the color, especially if it is a, a real shimmery kind of color. You need to press it in. I like being silly. I don't know. just makes life more fun. When you can laugh at your own self, I love it. I get tickled at my own self a lot. <laughs> Look how pretty that is. I love this. I absolutely love this color. And it's a dual product. You can use it on your face as well to do the shimmer. So now that we've used Gentle, we're going to come back and I'm going to try to use a blush. Let's use Sweet. Sweet's really pretty. They, they come like this, and this is Unique's. Uh, I'm using all Unique products, by the way. If there's anything that's different, I will tell you. But this one, uh, the only thing that I've really used differently would be the It's Bye Bye Pores. Let's see if I can get this thing open. I cannot get it open. Here we go. This is Sweet. And what brush do I want to use? I use this brush. This is a blusher brush. And we're going to come in with, with Sweet, and we're going to put it right over the top of that gentle why would you put it over the shimmer because it kind of mutes it and then you just got the little shine coming right through that blush i just think it makes it look really pretty because this is de definitely a summer face now wait till we do the the, the um mascara the mascara is going to be cool i think i will put a little bit of a liner on let's see if this is proper no i think we're going to use a brown liner let me see if I can find proper. Here's proper. These liners are awesome. Now, this is a pencil liner. They just glide on like butter, and they set in about 30 seconds. So, really, you have to be mindful of nothing because once you put it on, it stays. It stays. It's not going to go anywhere. And I'm just basically, I'm not going to do a wing. I'm basically keeping it really close to my lash line just to kind of define my eye just a little bit. I can see the difference. So I usually do it over the top of my pupil. If you have a wider set eyes, you can definitely bring it into the inner corner. My eyes are very um, close set, so I like to keep it more of my, my pupil in over. Now you can tight line with it a little bit if you'd love to, or you can come in here and you can tight line just right in this area. Sometimes I'll do that just to give a little definition at the bottom. And we're definitely going to come back and we're going to take the bronzer and this brush right here. And we're going to take this underneath. I'm going to take the darker side of this. And we're going to come right underneath. Right underneath. Uh-huh. So pretty. 
This is such an easy, easy, wheezy peasy eye look. Not a lot to go on with it. That's it. I think the mascara is what really sets it off in the end, which we're going to do. And I'm going to use two different mascaras today. Believe it or not, I am. Yes, I am. And then we're going to do a quick little lip, and we'll be done with this look. All right, let's do mascara. We have a 4D mascara that has Y fibers already in it. It makes your lashes go kaboom, kabomb, and so does Epic. Now, these are the two that we have. Now, Epic comes in brown. It comes in waterproof black, and then this is also black. I love this. But I like to combine these two. You don't have to, but I do like to do that. We do have collections with these, and you can get... Um, Different, you can get the Epic, you can get uh, a Steam Lash Serum. There's some new collections. I'll kind of post those down there too in the description box for you as well. And so, yes, curl your lashes. You need to curl your lashes. So, first of all, I'm going to use Epic first. Epic is a great name for this mascara. And the mascara is is the main product with Unique is what it started out with was the 3D Fiber Lash Mascara, which is now turned into the 4D Fiber Lash Mascara. And Epic, you just put it on basically like you would any other mascara. The reason I like to use Epic to begin with, it, I love the brush, number one. I love the brush and I love the brush, how it separates my lashes. And it just gets them perfectly in line because this one, actually curls your lashes. It has some kind of curling property in it. So it curls your lashes and helps them stay. Let me see if I can get some more here. There we go. I didn't get quite enough. There we go. So I'm going to do this one as well. And then I want to talk you through the 4D. But look how quick you can get your lashes done. This brush is fabulous. I love it. These are some of the best products I've ever used. I mean, I'm 56 as I make this video. So, I've been doing makeup a long time. and used a lot of different products. and But I don't know. I, I, these products are really working for me. And since I've been using Unique, I've been using Unique for four years now. And I absolutely love products. I love the mission of the company. I just love the way... The products look and feel on my skin. Uh, the, the skincare is incredible as well. All right, this is the 4D. The brush is totally different from the Epic wand. So it, this one has a flat side to it. And if you turn it, you can see it. There's a flat side there. So basically what you want to do with this is go from the root and kind of jiggle it and blink. Jiggle it and blink. And yes, it has a little Y-shaped fibers in it. And what that does is give you more volume, more length. It kind of gives you the look of having falsies without having to wear falsies. I've never put falsies on my eyes before. I don't know that I would know how to do it. I'm sure I could probably teach myself how to do it. But when I can get the same results with a mascara, you know, and without the effort or having to glue or... Uh, I don't know. I don't want to lose lashes. I want to keep the ones I got. I'm old enough. I don't need to lose anything else. Everything's going south anyway. <laughs> really is. This is so pretty, though. Look at that. Wow. <sighs> I smile every time I do it. I do. Because it's gorgeous. This mascara is absolutely wonderful. Wonderful mascara. And the last thing we're going to do is some lips. It's going to be a very basic lip. One of our best uh, lip liners is called Pouty. And I'm going to use it. And we're going to use a lip plumper called Hottie. And so, let me come under here and do my lash just... I don't like to do my lashes on the bottom too much. If I do, it's only right underneath the pupil area. I think less is more as we age. But see, see the transformation in this? It's really, 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 really a pretty look. And it's very, very simple, very, very minimal. So if you're going on vacation, this would be a great, great makeup set to take with you. Simple, easy. You could use this and wear it every day. You could change it up. You could actually use the um, 
on the in the bronzer you could actually use the lighter side if you wanted to put that on your lid instead of using something like gentle i just think gentle is really pretty but you could come back and use this it's got a shimmer in it you could use that as well all right so let's do a lip really 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 quick and we're going to use pouty pouty is kind of a nude color see how pretty it is it's kind of universal it goes with any lips <laughs> any color lips doesn't matter and i'm just going to line my lips first and then I'm going to fill them in very quickly uh-huh fill it all in that's such a pretty color perfect it is like the perfect nude pencil it's been my favorite for a long time I've been through many of these now Fill it in really well. Fill all this in. All of it. You can, this pencil right here can allow you to overline just a tad if you like. You can kind of purse your lips and then follow that natural line and just kind of go above it just a tad. And then come back down to meet that natural line. And it gives you more of a, uh, your vermilion border there. But it's so easy to use. Isn't that pretty? And then all we're going to do is just put a little bit of Hottie on top of it. Now, Hottie is a lip plumper. It has peppermint oil in it, so be mindful of that. But it doesn't sting. It doesn't burn. It tingles. As my granddaughter says, it stinkles, stinkles, <laughs> stingles a little bit. That's what she said. And she is a little diva. And she loves her lip glosses and lipsticks. At five years old, she knows just about as much as me. It's amazing. All right, so this is Hottie. And see, it's got a little tint to it. It's a little pink. So you can wear this on its own. But I think it's beautiful over pouty. So ta-da, look at that. You're done. And when you get done with it, you always fluff your hair here in Alabama. you got to have big hair. Even on hot summer days like today where it's going to be like 100 degrees here. All right, there you go. See, look at the shine your face has. Look, it's got a youthful glow. And then I step back and I look at it and I'm like, I'm not too overdone. It's just a pretty kind of fresh summer look. All right. I hope you've enjoyed this. I've enjoyed bringing it to you. Uh, I will, I'm always on here on Sundays or I try to be depending on what my life is like during the week. But um, please like and subscribe and share this if you think this might be of value to someone else. And uh, I'll put everything in the description box. And if you need help, please just reach out to me. I'm on Facebook. You can follow me there. You can, or you can ask me questions here. I'll always come back and look at comments. All right, guys. Ta-da! Thank you for watching. See you later.